washed up on the shores of Morning Star and across the street from Robin McMillan. And when we were uh, pretty much told that we were disqualified from ministry, Robin and Rick spoke into our lives and as it were, breathed life back to the, uh, from, they brought us back from the dead. And, and I, I want to encourage uh, ministry leaders uh, that when people have uh, been discounted, cast off, one of the common uh, things that we have found about MFM is that most, all of the people that are in MFM have been kicked out of some house. <laughs> But uh, the, the atmosphere to uh, restore and, and put back together is, is very powerful. Um, somebody talked about a second chance, and this is, a, this is the, a place of the second chance. Uh, I also want to say this about longevity in ministry, and then I'll turn it back to Robin. But uh, what Lance uh, refers to is uh, like a prophetic word and then a process. And uh, one of the things that helps sustain people in ministry is if they understand what process they're going through. Um, in uh, this, the, there are a few books out there that talk about process and what God is actually up to in endeavoring to make a leader. He, he's the one that said, um, when he called Peter, come follow me and I will make you. And he's very serious and intentional about making a man or a woman in ministry. He has a specific curriculum, and the way that uh, Robert Clinton refers to it, he calls it the developmental hand of God, where God has specifically written a curriculum to develop that person so that they become a finished product for their day of convergence. And the process that God takes people through very greatly. And if we are responsive to that process that is long enough and hard enough to, to change our personalities, then we will meet our day of convergence. And so what, what, we, what is most beneficial for us in that season of time is to endeavor to understand what God is up to in our lives and not fight it but cooperate cooperate with it so that that fruit is actually something that is uh, brought forth that he's after and um, where I find that people get derailed is when they um, are absent or is absent in their understanding what God is up to when we know what God is up to it gives a whole lot more meaning and purpose to the circumstances that we think are random it helps us get to our place of destiny.